And what often uh, amazes me about uh, developers who develop uh, software applications, sometimes they get to a certain point and they think, well, okay, we're going to leave it and see what people do with the software. And sure enough, somebody, some people somewhere will come up with workarounds thinking, well, why can't I do this and why can't I do that? The uh, same could be said very much so for Adobe Lightroom because in the discussion of playing video in the main window, we found that, yes, it is. It's actually a very good uh, media player, I suppose you can call it, uh, for video. When we get into the develop module, of course, we find we come up against a brick wall. The door is slammed in your face. Video is not supported in develop. And, of course, there are workarounds to allow us to create uh, instant video changes or edits to the tonality and the color of the picture. But we can also make our own color or custom presets to apply to video, even though we can't actually get into the develop module necessarily with the video. What I'm going to show you now is a very simple way to actually edit a clip. Yes, you can edit a clip. If you click on a little cogwheel symbol to the right of the playhead, this is click to trim video as you see, you can see uh, the video clip here. So I can pull the playhead across and I can just find a, a point. Uh, if there is in fact a point in this video, I think it's actually this clip that I probably want. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't actually see the handrail in that. So I'm going to say, well, that's a good place to start. And I'll just trim the video down to that particular point where the playhead is. And we'll go on. We'll go on around so we don't want to see anybody in the shot, down to about there. And if you note down at the bottom, once I pull that playhead in like that, it actually updates the time that we're looking at. So that's an eight second uh, piece of that clip that we selected. Let's go on to the next clip here and we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to start pretty much at the start there and I'm going to choose, again, let's choose about eight seconds of this clip. So I'm just going to randomly pull that across that seven seconds. Well, that was a good guess, Robin. There we go. Let's pull that back. That's nine seconds. Well, we might split the difference and go eight seconds or thereabouts okay so I've done a little bit of trimming on those clips something that I never knew you could do actually so you can do it it's a little bit fiddly it's not as easy as using Premiere Elements or Premiere Pro but hey if you've already got Lightroom why bother spending loads of money getting another application if you can do basics in this application so what I've done is I've clearly selected those two little fellas there those two clips are selected and I'm going to jump us into the slideshow module now, the slideshow module, I say to most of my students, is basically a useless utility. Why? Because it doesn't do the job very well. And there are other applications, um, such as ProShow Gold, maybe a company called Photodex, that makes slideshows look absolutely awesome. This is very pedestrian. I think it's probably a polite way of saying it. And I don't think Adobe has really changed or improved the look or the functionality of the slideshow since... Lightroom 1.0 as far as I know there have been a few tweaks but nothing that's going to go wow that's really good it's kind of one of those weird things but we've got these two selected clips we're in the slideshow module I've selected selected photos only so that when we play these two clips I don't end up by getting all the other clips that I've imported so if I click on the play button it goes away here we go it's playing the waterfall and in eight seconds it should then just segue into walking through the landscape shot how about that? So not bad at all. Easy peasy. It automatically drops in a dissolve in between the two clips. OK, you can't really do a great deal about putting fantastic titles or credits and that kind of thing as you would with a real uh, video editor. But it's not half bad. When we finished, of course, and you're happy with the clip that you've gone, you don't need to go back and extend or uh, shorten the clip length. You can then export the video and you just hit the export video. It will then export it to a destination of your choice as an MP4 and then you can play it in the regular fashion or upload it to the internet. So it's a pretty neat little workaround for editing, basic editing, basic uh, video production using Adobe Lightroom.